Hey guys, in finance, there's this thing called the rule of 69. And the math behind it is a cool way to show a practical use for logarithms. So if you know your interest rate, and if you want to know how many years it will take for your money to double at this interest rate, this is the formula right here. It's approximately equal to 69 divided by the interest rate plus 0.35. So for example, if we have a 3% interest rate and we want a quick estimate to how many years it will take to double the money, we just take the fraction, do 69 divided by 3, and then add 0.35. 69 divided by 3 is equal to 23, and that means it'll take approximately 23.35 years to double. And we can check it with the interest formula. This just means start with a dollar, give it a 3% interest rate for 23.35 years, and we end up with $1.99. So this was a pretty good way to estimate it. So do you want to see the math? Well, here's our interest formula. We have an initial amount that we invest. R is the interest rate. After T years, we're now going to have this amount of money. So to derive the rule of 69, let's start this out as just A, and then we're going to go until we double A. So it'll be 2A. First step, let's divide both sides by A. We get 1 plus R to the T is equal to 2. So now the variable we want to solve for is T. And since T is in the exponent, we want to use logarithms. So we're going to log both sides of the equation. And the reason we do logarithms is so we can bring this exponent to the front. And this is all still going to be equal to ln2. Now we have t times this equals ln2. So if we just divide both sides by this, we'll have t equals ln2 over ln1 plus r. So if we go into Desmos and type in the natural log of 1 plus x, and then zoom in to realistic interest rates. So here's 20% interest rate right here. Here's 10%. You can see this looks like a straight line. In fact, it looks a lot like y equals x. So for low interest rates, it's pretty close to y equals x. As we get higher interest rates, it goes off by a little bit. But for these purposes, it's safe to say approximately equal to x. And then this would be the same thing if we change the x's into r's. Let's bring this thing down here. Let's make it approximately equal so we can substitute an r in the bottom. Let's smush it together, and the natural log of 2 is approximately equal to 0.693. And that's basically 69% over r. And if we multiply top and bottom by 100, 69% times 100 is 69. And then r times 100 would basically be how we say the interest rate. So for example, 3% interest rate, we would just call it 3. So now let's clear some of our work and bring this up here. So that takes care of this part of the equation, but what about the 0.35? Well, if we make a table and choose some arbitrary percentage cents and then use this part of the formula just do 69 divided by each of these interest rates these are all the decimal values and this column right here is the actual amount of time it takes to double and you notice there is a difference between these as we get larger percents it gets very close to 0.35 and so we decide to go with 0.35 and this is a pretty good estimate even as your percentage rate gets higher and higher and this is the math behind the rule of 69 how exciting